Hey folks, I'm Jen Foxbot, and welcome to MakerQuest. In this episode, we're going to talk about how computers communicate using electricity, ooh, and how humans can translate our languages into the language of computers. Alright, so let's get started. So, computers uh, send, store, and receive information using electricity. So, unfortunately, they can't understand when we talk at them, because they don't understand English, or Spanish, or Mandarin, or Farsi, or Arabic, or any of these other human languages that we use to communicate with each other. Computers only understand if the electrical signal is on, or if it's off. So, you can kind of think about that like sending secret messages to your friend using a flashlight. Um, you can send simple messages, like the flashlight's on, that's yes, or the flashlight's off, that's no. Um, but you have to figure out a way to, you know, ask each other questions um, and build up more complicated ways to communicate so that you can send all the, you can tell your friend all the things that happened during that day. Um, so basically, the way that computers communicate, either on or off, is called a binary system. And, you probably guessed it, we represent that with binary numbers, or just zeros and ones. Zero and one. So, since humans have ten fingers and ten toes most of the time, we have a number system that counts up to ten, and then it restarts. Um, and we call that a base 10 counting system. Makes sense, right? We probably started counting with our fingers, and so eventually we just created a number system based on that. Simple enough. Um, but what if you ran into an alien that only had one finger on each hand? That alien's gonna count totally different, right? It's gonna go 0, 1, 0, 1, and then it's gonna need another alien to help out uh, with bigger numbers. Um, so you get enough of the aliens together and they can count all the way up to 10 using just uh, their two fingers, but you need a few more of them. Uh, you need five of them, I suppose. Um, double check me on that. I'm pulling that off the top of my head. I don't know if that's correct. Anyway, so um, no, you would only need half of that because they have two fingers. Anyway, <laughs> that would be a fun little exercise. Um, so basically, what we use uh, binary for is to convert English and, and Spanish and all of our other languages into a computer-readable language. Um, so we need a little bit of help to do that, right? Because it would be a pain if we didn't agree on that conversion. How confusing would it be if we tried to talk to someone in Spanish, but we couldn't agree on what a dog was, for example? Um, that would be really tricky, right? So, uh, fortunately, folks got together a long time ago to um, develop this conversion system. And in the US, we have what is called the American Standard Code for Information Interchange or ASCII for short. Woohoo! Um, so when you want to convert a human letter, um, human language, like letters and numbers and symbols, into binary, you look up the ASCII table. And what you'll see on the ASCII table is you'll have a long number um, in binary. I'm gonna make this up, we're gonna go Um, so you'll find an eight uh, digit long number and each of these digits is called a bit, B-I-T, and the eight bit long number is called a byte. So that's where bytes come from. Um, and so when you want to tell the computer to print out hello world, you would have to go and find on the ASCII table what the uh, what the binary byte number would be for H. Um, so in that way, you encode English or whatever language you're working with into binary using the ASCII table. You can also go the other way, which is super cool. You can decode binary numbers. You can look for that that uh, eight bit long number and you can look for the letter that it corresponds to. So if you wanna get, get really good at this and memorize a table, you could write secret messages to each other. 
And uh, fortunately, we don't have to write in binary anymore because that's really time consuming. Um, so there's a woman, Grace Hopper, who was like, I know, I'm going to invent a compiler to take uh, binary and translate it into a language it's a little easier for us to understand. So something like C++. Um, once you learn the language, it's a lot faster to type a program than it is to type in binary. So hooray for Grace Hopper and other innovative folks that are like, mm, I know this is the way we've been doing it, but I have a better idea. That's really important. That's how we move forward. Um, so yay, Grace Hopper. We don't have to write in binary anymore, but if you do end up working with electronics and you want to work with sensors and stuff, it's really fun. Um, so sometimes you will run in uh, to uh, communication with the sensor in binary. So it's important to know how this works. All right, so please let me know if you have any questions about this or about how computers work in general. Thanks very much for watching and see you next time. Bye.